I want to talk shortly about the concept of premature abstraction, arguing that you should be a bit more careful before calling someone out for performing premature abstraction. The argument often goes something along the lines of that it's premature because if you're abstracting, that means you have to solve the general problem that might be very difficult when in fact you don't know that you need to solve the general problem. So instead you should just solve the specific problem. To make the case, I would like to tell you a short story of a system I, I was involved in many years ago. I've thought about this system time and time again afterwards and I've sort of come to the following conclusion. So let me tell you what the system was, or honestly, a, a tiny, tiny portion of the system. So the thing I was tasked to develop was a grid that displayed a number of images. Now, that's fairly trivial, but the problem or the crux was that the number of images uh, were arbitrary. And obviously one of the requirements was that the images should not distort. So you couldn't just stretch the images. Now, if you could stretch the images, the problem would be more trivial. But if you, uh, of course you can stretch them, but you have to scale them proportionally, not uh, stretch them. Like you can't make them 200% wide and 100% in height. Now, there are of course general solutions to this problem and they're not even that complicated. So the one I went with in the end was an idea where you split Actually, after discussing with my, with my father about this, we figured that the, the easiest way to approach it is probably to split the image in, uh, split the, the canvas in half, and then split one of the halves in half, and then split one of the halves of the halves in half, and then keep doing this procedure uh, until you have equal, an equal number of halves in comparison to the number of images that you need to display. And that does work. However, of course, this took a longer time than if I would have simply said that actually we need a fixed number of images or we are okay with the fact that an extra image causes uh, the page to scroll. Or if we decided upon uh, whether the page would usually be viewed in landscape or in portrait. I didn't mention that when I was uh, talking about the problems before, but one of the things that make the problem more complicated is of course that you also want to not have say, 30 columns and two rows, right? That doesn't really display very nicely. And that, of course, depends upon the resolution of, of the screen you're viewing it on, or rather the dimensions of the window. But let's not dwell on neither the solution nor this particular problem. The point is that there is a solution, but the solution took more time to find, or it took a longer time to find the solution that is more general than if we would have imposed some constraints on the requirements and instead solved the specific problem. So when people say that you are prematurely abstracting, a lot of the times you'll meet this argument. They'll say that you are trying to solve the general problem when in fact you should be solving the specific problem because Yagni, you ain't gonna need it, right? You are not going to need the, the general uh, solution. In this particular case, it was extremely evident because I as a developer spent a lot of time on this particular feature, right? You know how, you know how programmers really want to solve some problems that we're facing because it's sort of intrinsically interesting in itself. I found myself in one of these, these situations with this problem. So I really wanted to actually solve it. So again, oftentimes the argument is that it's you're trying to solve a general problem when in fact you should be solving a specific problem. Now, the point I want to make now is that you don't always have to solve the general problem, but you could still be creating abstraction. So abstraction in itself does not only mean solving the general problem that you might think is the general problem, it, might also, it, it could potentially mean abstracting in such a way that you allow for yourself to change the specific implementation if your requirements change. Let me explain. So in this particular scenario, instead of trying to solve the display all, all images when all of the pieces are moving, or let's say uh, without making any tough decisions, instead of trying to solve that general problem, I could have solved one of the specific problems, essentially, for example, choosing landscape or portrait. I, and I could have an implementation for that. We could have a different implementation for overflowing when you have an extra image more than you or when you have and say uneven quotation marks number of images 
These are all specific solutions. And the point is that if you implement one of these specific solutions, but make sure that you abstract your code enough such that you will be able to exchange your specific solution for another specific solution. And if we're being more specific in this discussion, I should perhaps call it a specific algorithm rather than a specific solution. It's not about solving the mathematical tricky general solution. You could still solve just the specific solutions, but because you know that the specific solution might not be the right solution, might not be the solution that the customer wants or be the solution that you will want in the future, then you take, you take heed for that. You, you say, okay, actually, we might need a different specific solution in the future, or sorry, I should start saying algorithm. We might need a different specific algorithm in the future, so we'll create a seam in the system where it's possible to exchange one of the specific algorithms for another specific algorithm, essentially dependency injection. By the way, if you wanna know more about dependency injection, I highly recommend you to check out my other video on dependency injection. So using this kind of abstraction, I would strongly argue that this is not premature at all. This is completely sensible. This is expecting that you have understood a requirement incorrectly and creating a seam in your system where you in the future will be able to exchange the one specific piece for another specific piece that may turn, take you closer towards correctly understanding that particular requirement. I'm running out of battery, so I'll have to wrap this up. But the point is, be careful when you accuse someone of prematurely abstracting. Just because someone is abstracting does not necessarily mean that they're spending time trying to solve the general problem. They could, in fact, be creating a seam that will make it possible for you to exchange one specific algorithm for another specific algorithm in the future. And I would argue that performing that or creating that kind of seam is almost effectively free. Of course, it's not free, but the cost of performing it is very, very low. In comparison to, of course, the cost of solving the general problem is, of course, not low. So the criticism of solving the general problem is, of course, warranted. So th those are my five cents. Be sure to subscribe if you want more code talks like this, and I'll see you next time.